Decline in estrogen levels and the vaginal health. As we age, our bodies go through many changes, some of which we don't often talk about. Today, we're shedding light on a crucial topic, how aging affects the vagina. From hormone levels to tissue changes, what happens and how you can manage these changes. At the heart of this transformation is estrogen, the primary female sex hormone. Estrogen, a vital hormone that plays an essential role in a woman's life. But what exactly does it do? And how does it impact the body, especially as we age? And how its decline can affect vaginal health? Estrogen is primarily produced and released by the ovaries. It's also produced in smaller amounts by the adrenal glands, and during pregnancy, by the placenta. However, for most of a woman's reproductive years, the ovaries are the main source of this important hormone. Estrogen release follows a cyclic pattern tied to the menstrual cycle. Around the time of ovulation, typically 14 days after the first day of your period, estrogen levels peak. However, it's important to note that this can vary from person to person. Estrogen does more than regulate your menstrual cycle. It contributes to the production of collagen, a protein that provides structure and elasticity to the skin. This hormone helps maintain skin firmness and resilience, influencing skin thickness, moisture levels, and even blood flow. As women age, ovarian function declines, leading to a significant drop in estrogen levels. With less estrogen circulating in the body, collagen production decreases, both in the skin and the vagina. One of the most significant factors influencing estrogen levels is menopause. A natural biological process, menopause usually occurs in a woman's late 40s to early 50s. During menopause, the ovaries gradually decrease their production of estrogen and other reproductive hormones. In fact, women can lose up to 30% of collagen within the first five years of menopause. This decline is responsible for a host of changes in the body, including the thinning and weakening of the vaginal walls. Reduced collagen makes the vaginal walls thinner, less elastic, and unable to retain moisture effectively. This leads to common symptoms such as vaginal dryness, discomfort, and a condition known as vaginal atrophy. Vaginal atrophy can cause itching, burning, and pain during intercourse. Women may also experience urinary tract problems, such as recurring infections. Estrogen doesn't just affect the vagina. It also supports the pelvic floor muscles, which help hold the bladder, uterus, and rectum in place. As estrogen levels drop, these muscles can weaken, leading to a condition known as vaginal prolapse. In cases of prolapse, organs like the bladder and uterus may bulge into or even push out of the vagina especially for women who've had multiple natural births. Another common symptom associated with weakened pelvic floor muscles is stress incontinence. This is when urine leaks during activities that put pressure on the bladder, such as coughing, sneezing, or exercising. But here's the good news, while these changes are common during menopause, individual experiences vary. And there are ways to manage these symptoms. Managing the Effects of Menopause on Vaginal Health Many women successfully navigate this transition with healthy lifestyle choices, good self-care, and regular physical activity. For some, hormone replacement therapy, or HRT, can be an effective way to restore estrogen levels and improve vaginal health. However, it's important to discuss the potential risks and benefits of HRT with your doctor before deciding. There are side effects, and a healthcare professional can guide you through your options. For those who experience vaginal dryness and discomfort during intercourse, over-the-counter vaginal moisturizers and lubricants can offer relief. Once again, consulting a healthcare professional is key for personalized advice. Remember, menopause is a natural phase in life, but you don't have to go through it alone or in discomfort. With the right care and support, you can thrive during this transition. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on women's health. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of the updates on this channel. And if you have any questions or experiences to share, 
drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Bye.